What's up there, Doctor? It's me, Andreas. And as you can see, I'm here to answer your grail quest. And I wanted to let you know that I'm sipping on a little cock and bull ginger beer. Mmm, -mm. that is tasty. Mmm. VC cheers to you. Spicy. Anyway. Um, so basically you wanted to see the grail of 2013. And um, I've got it for you, buddy. Um, the grail for me is this album right here. Wall of Death. The main obsession. Why is it a grail, you might ask? Well, I did get quite a few records in 2013, and, you know, there are quite a few that are better than that, musically speaking. But the reason that that was a grail, and while I'm on the subject, um, I don't think a grail is something you should... Uh, attain. I've had this discussion with certain somebody out there. They know who they are. Um, it's something that you never get. So, really, it's more of um, it's the best record I got all year for other reasons besides the music. Why? It's because I got it here. Austin Psych Fist. April 26th through 28th, 2013. This is where I met Nathan, Raul, and Michael, and Chris Alvear. Not enough people talk about Chris Alvear around these parts anymore. He's my boy. Um, Raul and Nathan and Michael, I don't think, got to hang out with Chris. But I did a little, and it was great, him and his wife. Um... But yeah, that's why it's a grail for me. Um, just everything leading up to the first VC love-in um, that Nathan put together and getting me on board and uh, Raul and his brother showing up and Nathan and his lady and, and Megan, Nathan's childhood friend, which I thought was adorable. I don't have... I hang out, I mean, I hang out with people I met when I was in high school, but I don't have any childhood friends anymore. I think that's great. Um, but yeah, that's what makes it a grail for me. It's just the culmination of that experience. Um, and I think all of us, if I'm not mistaken, bought this record at the... Well, I'm not sure about Raul. I think he got it afterwards, but... Um, yeah, I think all of us bought this record um, at PsychFest. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, if I recall correctly, this is the one that they put out. This is before um, this is before the Reverberation Society. So this is on Born and Bad Records out of France. This is a French band. If I recall, no, mine's just black. Never mind. There was a green one, too, I think. Maybe I got another record that was green. <laughs> anyway, that is a really good um, psych band out of France. Um, Wall of Death. Maybe they'll be back this year. There are a ton of great bands coming up in May, folks. Sorry, Doc. But this little side thing, I have to say, because I'm getting really excited for May. Uh, I'll be getting my ticket probably the next couple weeks or so. And I want to ask everyone who's going, again, sorry, Doc, you know, it's not all about you. Uh, if you're going to camp, because I'm camping, so camp with me. We'll have ourselves a little, you know, a little uh, group there. Maybe some things will happen in the night. Huh? Eh? Is that creepy enough for you? Um, also, there's like an upgrade thing this year. It's like an extra 
hundred bucks and you get to I don't know if you get to hang out backstage, but they had this like area for the bands and their hangers on, if you catch my drift. Um and I'm thinking this extra hundred bucks will get you access to that. That's the way the way they're making it sound on the website. But I'm considering it. So if anybody else is considering that too, let me know. But yeah, my other grail, I know this will get me disqualified. But my other grail for this uh, past year was a Christmas present. Burnside Bourbon, baby. I've already had a bottle of this today. No, um, I've already tasted this, and it's good. Um, this is a local Portland distillery. Um, oh, and it got, it got a gold drip <laughs> from the Beverage Tasting Institute. Uh, East Side Distilling, for those of you who are curious. Put some sideburns on your face. Anyway, Doc, there you have it, my grail. Um, hi, everyone in the vinyl community. Hope you are well. Hope you had a great new year. Um, I haven't bought a record in over a month. Freaking out. But that's going to change next week, or this week, coming up. Um, I loaned somebody some money last summer, and I'm getting paid back in a gift certificate to a record store, and it's a fair amount, so I'm going to spend, 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 and I'm thinking about getting an iPad mini as well, rather than upgrading my phone. Let's just talk about me and all the shit I'm going to buy, huh? Anyway, um... I'm going to make a lot more videos this year, folks. It's going to be great. I'm going to rant and rave. Um, oh, and by the way, I did not get the job um, that I interviewed for, but that's okay. This year, I'm going to travel a bit. I'm getting a passport. I'm going to go to Canada, a couple places in Canada, maybe see you, Doc, go to Hamilton. Um, whoops, I just gave away your city. Um, <laughs> and... Um, you know, live and enjoy life, because it's not all about work, motherfuckers. It's about living. So, until then, put some cock in your mouth. And kiss, kiss. <laughs>